YouTube. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna chat a little bit about uh, drawing styles. Uh, this is a very, uh, very complicated and uh, difficult, confusing, call it what you may. It's a very challenging uh, uh, section of uh, advanced steel. Uh, and uh, I'll show you why uh, just in a few words here uh, this is uh, I'm just taking one random for example the anchor detail I've got my styles like in my lifetime I have made two drawing styles no three actually one of them is not here uh, I've made three in my lifetime and uh, uh, no actually four I just made one a uh, uh, few weeks ago so uh, my experience is it's very very time consuming it's very difficult and uh, you cannot get 100% results only because like you can get 100% results on certain drawings you know if you if you if you use the drawing style on a uh, drawing that has a little bit of a curve boy in it then you're gonna need to go back to the drawing board change something in there uh, until you come up, you meet another drawing with a little bit of a curveball, then you have to change it up again just to manipulate it, just tweak it a little bit. Uh, so you have it perfect for like 10, 15 drawings, and then the 16th drawing is going to have an element that you didn't have before, so you got to tweak it a little bit. So it's an ongoing process. You can't, you can't just uh, uh, make your drawing style and uh, uh, expect it to be uh, top notch every time so uh, it's very time consuming I told you that and uh, it's the the move the variables are way too many so for example I'm going to uh, uh, okay this is a view directly just where you decide uh, which view which side you're gonna be looking at the object okay and in the presentation rule here real quick this is where uh, you decide what objects are going to appear in the drawing so in this case we have main part MP plates oh another thing is there are a lot of abbreviations in here and if you do not know the abbreviations then you're not gonna have very much luck using uh, uh, creating drawing styles so for example that uh, POSSM name G45 that or what that means is uh, position and SM means small uh, name is basically the, uh, uh, the the name of the so in this case a beam so it would be W1246 whatever it is and G is guide and 45 is the angle at which the name is going to pop up. So it's going to pop up at 45 degree angle. So it's going to be slanted. So again, there's lots of abbreviations to learn in here. And uh, this screen here presentation is calling up what objects are going to uh, appear in the drawing. And uh, for each object, you have to you have to give it uh, 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 geometric restrictions, which means if the object is laying down on the side this is what I want to see you know like if the object uh, uh, I want to see objects which are uh, uh, from the top you know and so this you're, you're filtering using the geometry of the object at the time now presentation rule this is now uh, 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 so example okay I'll just give an example it's difficult to explain so grating here it says off so if the drawing in the drawing if we create this drawing and there's grading in it the grading will not be visible because it's off or uh, if it's visible hidden system here it's gonna show it when it's visible uh, when it's hidden or uh, uh, and the system I believe is the system line is gonna pop up uh, in the drawing that that red line you see and again, uh, labeling is how the object is going to be labeled. And then uh, 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 you can actually double click. You can actually double click on that, and uh, 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 you can uh, 
change the settings in here too so like presentation row here it's off it's the same thing as it was here like grading off here so this is the short version of doing it or double click it to go deeper still and uh, have a little bit more options in there you know mm. and then uh, you expand it so it's basically it's okay so it's basically this view here is everything is everything that you're gonna do but uh, if you need to fine-tune uh, some of those options you double click it and then you know it gives you a little bit more in-depth of uh, uh, the objects like example here selected object uh, you can change more uh, the model role so here example if we had plates here I can decide I only want to see gusset plates or best base plates or whatever and uh, filter here you can also narrow it down even further I want uh, uh, something with holes in it or you know or without holes or you know so that's uh, 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 just going deeper into uh, 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 the, the, the options to uh, narrow it down even further so again here this is the presentation so uh, again grating is off if it was on there would have visible body or visible just a system line and uh, <coughs> single line helper you know or any of these it to be a symbol or a labeling rule again this is just uh, a, a deeper version of you know the more basic view we had here uh, uh, up here you know so when you when you expand you just go deeper into it and uh, 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 there's much to learn in there but I won't uh, go in there and then again of course it works the same way uh, this is the basic uh, this is the basic rule and then you double click you go deeper still now here there's three rules okay so there's this one so each one so each one is a different rule of dimension okay so example this is uh, L uh, this is view Y foundation anchor project LTA what this means is the view is in the Y direction uh, uh, in the foundation anchor so these are anchor balls obviously and uh, PROJ means projection okay how much projects out and uh, LTA I believe means uh, linear top or okay so uh, again you have to learn these uh, uh, abbreviations if you want to be successful in creating uh, uh, a drawing style so I'm gonna double click that and uh, I just go deeper into uh, this uh, this this rule here the foundation Y project uh, anchor project LTA now <coughs> here I can change the orientation of the view now here is now where it gets interesting this is where uh, I now decide what points of uh, the object I'm gonna be uh, dimensioning so so anchor bolt so anchor bolt AL means all extreme right of objects so I'm gonna start at the extreme right of the object and again model objects here you can decide uh, what like uh, what kind of anchor bolts you know like uh, row model like what you use in the drawing like it works but the best example is again I'm going back to plates and gusset plates you have gusset plates base plates and just the uh, end plates they're all plates but they are different row models so uh, this is again the model object here is to define which kind you want and uh, here there's uh, also a whack of options in here you can decide uh, which point to snap on so will it be the uh, uh, depending on what object this could be the center point or the system line or uh, reference again there's so much in here uh, to take in in just one video and uh, here again the selection points you can start from attached beams or attached plates or uh, beams with holes front view top but again you have to know these uh, uh, 
uh, abbreviations to be successful in this category so this represents one dimension dimensioning rule and then this one there's a second one uh, dimensioning rule here and uh, this for all falls under the Y and if you want you can expand that and expand that and see it in a different light different view or you know some views have a bit more insight of uh, what you can change and what you can't change and uh, 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 basically you call up you call them up one at a time so you call up this one and you can duplicate by clicking the create and uh, change what you want and you want to put a good number of uh, 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 call up, call ups in there and then uh, there's also that uh, asterisk down the first one that's because it's going to have a separate dimension from everything else that you have in here lined up and uh, uh, one thing I should have mentioned to start when you go the first thing you need to do you need to right click user click new create your own style okay and then go say plan view right click copy that and duplicate that okay and when that pops up click on it properties and send it to your uh, uh, your drawing style and now that's your drawing style there and now you can start tinkering with that now when you open that and you're gonna start tinkering with it you always wanna first start with the new button new uh, create your own thing click OK and then now you can start tinkering that even further now each time you go to a new screen you have to create something new up there okay and then change the change the name and then tinker with it you know as well so and then object presentation and view dimension so that was just a brief 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 very brief trust me that was brief uh, overview on uh, how the whole thing works you can go in and try it yourself you can ask me specific questions I'm not gonna uh, teach the whole thing uh, and I, I strongly suggest you get some help uh, uh, you can also uh, check out my website I might be able to help you out depend you see you send me what what uh, what uh, you send me a model okay and you send me what you want your drawing style to look like when when you what you want the drawing to look like when you use the drawing style I might be able to help you that so check out my website I'll put in the link in the description or you can find someone else who's able to do that for you or if you wanna do it on your own be my guest I'm sorry I cannot teach this subject it's just way too complicated too much brain power and it's uh I I I my English is not the greatest it's very difficult for me to communicate certain things it's I hope I wish I could but I cannot YouTube